Kevin Durant is very, very lucky this morning. And let me tell you why. Um, this man played point. You, he played in Oklahoma City where Russell Westbrook is his point guard. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter we've ever seen on God's green earth. Uh, not the quintessential prototypical point guard, just a guy that plays the point guard position that is just a lethal marksman extraordinaire, the most lethal we've ever seen. Then he goes to Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving is a superstar caliber player, but he's not a point guard. And even though James Harden, when he was there, did a damn good job, that ain't really him. This is a point guard we're talking about. G-O-D. When we talk about point guards, Chris Paul is one of those people. Yeah. Okay? You're talking about a guy in Kevin Durant. Think about the situation that Kevin Durant has walked into. You don't have to worry about being a leader. Chris Paul got that covered. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look for another stud. Devin Booker's got that covered. Mm -hmm. You got a stud on your front line. DeAndre Ayton is no scrub. His brother can play. And when you look, and then on top of all of that, you got a high character, high basketball IQ, high exceptional individual in Monty Williams as your coach. From the organization, from the top on down, now that Mr. Sarver is gone, and they got a new breed up in there. This is the situation that Kevin Durant is walking into. All you've got to do is be you mm. as a basketball player. That is it. And this is what it comes down to. And I said it before and I say it again. This is the best chance that the Phoenix Suns have of winning the NBA championship in my lifetime. When they went to the finals yeah. against Michael Jordan, that was Michael Jordan and Pippen waiting for you, yeah. okay? That ain't the case now. Real quick, before I get into Wendy, are you even more excited for the rest of the NBA season now? Uh, yes, I am, because uh, let me tell you this. When Kevin Durant went to Golden State, yeah. I was disgusted because you just eradicated competition because it was a foregone conclusion. Nobody was beating that Golden State squad. Denver is going to have something to say to Phoenix. You can't ignore that. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. And I just think that when you look at Milwaukee and Boston, they're going to have something to mm -hmm. say. Phoenix is the favorite, but the bottom line is you've got a few teams that have yeah. the capability to knock them off. Feels like so a, li a little more parity in That's the right. NBA now.